Alabama DMV Motorcycle Practice Test. Question 1. Which of the following should be done at night? A. Follow vehicles closely. B. Avoid riding on rural roads. C. Wear brighter clothing so you can be seen. D. Slow down so you can stop within the range of your headlights. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. At night, it is important to slow down to a speed that allows you to stop safely within the range of your headlights. Question 2. When riding a motorcycle, your arms are primarily used for A. Holding yourself up B. Steering the motorcycle C. Making arm signals D. Applying the brakes 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. When riding a motorcycle, your arms should be used for steering in the motorcycle, not for holding yourself up. Question 3. What can happen if you ride through a turn too fast? A. Other drivers will be distracted. B. You will tip over. C. The motorcycle will suffer mechanical failure. D. You can veer into another lane. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. If you drive through a turn too fast, you can end up riding into another lane. Question 4. Studies show that most crash involved riders. A. Did not separate braking from swerving or did not choose swerving when it was appropriate. B. Underbrook the front tire and overbrook the rear. C. Do both of the above. D. Do neither of the above. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. Studies show that most crash-involved riders underbrook the front tire and overbrook the rear, did not separate braking from swerving or did not choose swerving when it was appropriate. Question 5. The best clothing for making yourself visible is A. Colorful and big B. Dark and durable C. Bright and reflective D. Leather and tough 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. The best clothing for making yourself visible is bright and reflective. Question 6. Why can pulling off to the side of the road be more hazardous to motorcycles than cars? A. The shoulder is often sandy and may provide less traction. B. It is more difficult for motorcycles to stop quickly. C. It is illegal for motorcycles to park on the side of the road. D. Motorcycles require a curb to park against. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Pulling off to the side of the road can be more hazardous to motorcycles than cars because the shoulder is often full of sand or gravel and can be slippery to motorcycles. Question 7. The X marked RR sign warns that A. You are approaching a dead end. B. You are approaching an intersection. C. You are approaching a railroad crossing. D. You are approaching a construction zone. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. This sign gives you an early warning of a railroad crossing ahead. Be prepared to stop before you get to the tracks if a train is approaching the crossing. Question 8. Help stabilize your motorcycle in a turn by. 
A. Decreasing the throttle. B. Pulling in the clutch. C. Increasing the throttle. D. Applying the rear brake. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. To help stabilize the motorcycle in a turn, you should increase the throttle when turning. Question 9. The best lane position for being seen. A changes depending on the situation. B is the right of the lane position. C is the center of the lane position. D is the left of the lane position. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. The best lane position for being seen changes depending on the situation. No position needs to be avoided. Question 10. As a motorcycle rider, you can use your feet to maintain balance by A. Skimming them above the ground B. Keeping them on the footrests C. Holding them away from the motorcycle D. Pointing your toes downward 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. Use your feet to maintain balance by keeping them on the footrests. Question 11. What is the best way to identify bumps in the road when driving at night? A. Only ride where there are street lights. B. Use your high beam. C. Use the lights of the car ahead of you. D. Scan the road often. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. The best way to identify bumps in the road when driving at night is to use the lights of the car ahead of you. If you see the tail lights bounce up and down, there are likely to be bumps on the road. Question 12. Helps make your downshifting smoother. A. Applying the rear brake. B. Rolling on the throttle. C. Applying the front brake. D. Any of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. Rolling on the throttle as you is off the clutch helps make your downshifting smoother. Question 13. If a dog begins to chase you while you are riding, you should A. Kick the dog B. Approach the animal and speed away C. Stop until the owner is found D. Call animal protection 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. If a dog begins to chase you, you should approach the animal and then speed away. This should stop the dog from chasing you. Question 14. Before making an emergency stop on the side of the road, you should A. Move into the center of the lane position. B. Skim your feet along the road. C. Make sure your luggage is secure. D. Check to see that the surface is firm enough to ride on. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Before making an emergency stop on this side of the road, you should check to see that the surface is firm enough to ride on. Question 15. Help other vehicles notice that you are slowing down by. A. Using signal lights. B. Flashing your brake light. C. Swerving from side to side. D. Beeping your horn. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. Help other vehicles notice you are slowing down by flashing your brake light. 
This should especially be used when slowing down quickly or at unusual areas. Question 16. Cross railroad tracks at an angle of at least 45 degrees because A. At a smaller angle you may catch your tires. B. It allows you to cross the tracks quickly. C. It gives you the best view of oncoming trains. D. A larger angle would be unsafe. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Cross tracks at an angle of at least 45 degrees to avoid catching your tires on the tracks. You could lose your balance or tip over if you cross at a smaller angle. Question 17. Most motorcycle crashes happen. A. On short trips. B. On long trips. C. In parking lots. D. On gravel roads. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Most motorcycle crashes happen on short trips. Question 18. The rear brake provides at the motorcycle stopping power. A. 3 quarters B. 1 half C. 1 quarter D. All 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. The rear brake provides one quarter of the motorcycle stopping power. Always use both brakes when stopping. Question 19. Which lane position should you ride in to increase your line of sight? A. The right. B. Any lane position. C. The left. D. The center. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. The lane position you should ride in to increase your line of sight is the left of the lane position. It helps you see beyond the vehicle in front of you as well as oncoming dangers. Question 20. Half of all motorcycle crashes are caused by A. Not wearing proper gear. B. Riding while under the influence. C. Drivers entering the rider's right of way. D. Faulty traffic signals. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. Half of all motorcycle crashes are caused by drivers entering the rider's right of way. Use caution when entering an intersection. Question 21. Motorcycle passengers should A. Sit as far forward as possible. B. Lean in the opposite direction of the motorcycle. C. Put feet down when stopped. D. Get on before you start the engine. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Motorcycle passengers should sit as far forward as possible to help balance the motorcycle. Question 22. Cars are most likely to try and share your lane when A. They know you are a beginner rider. B. They want to pass you. C. You are in the left of the lane position. D. You are riding on a multi-lane highway. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. Cars are most likely to try and share your lane when they want to pass you. Choose the center of the lane position to discourage them from trying to share your lane. Question 23. You are approaching an intersection that has a stop line, but you can tell it is a blind intersection. Where should you stop? A. Where you have the most visibility. B. At the stop line first, then pull forward. C. 
with the front wheel over the stop line. D. At the stop line only. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. If there is a stop line, you must stop there first. If it is still difficult to see after you have stopped, you can inch forward until visibility improves. Question 24. It is safest to approach obstacles at an angle. A 45 degree. B 90 degree. C 180 degree. D 25 degree. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. It is safest to approach obstacles straight on at a 90 degree angle. Question 25. In locations where there is oil and grease buildup, the best lane position is A. The center portion. B. Not important. C. In the blind spot. D. The left or right part of the lane. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. In locations where there is oil and grease buildup, the best lane position is the left or the right where other tires have traveled. Question 26. A following distance is the minimum space cushion for safe riding. A 1 second. B 5 second. C 2 second. D 4 second. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. A 2 second following distance is the minimum space cushion for safe riding. Question 27. Which of the following is an OT way to increase your visibility at night? A. Wear reflective clothing. B. Use your low beam headlight. C. Change your lane position. D. Increase your following distance. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. Using your low beam is not a way to increase your visibility at night. At night, you should use your high beam for best visibility. Question 28. The best way to protect your eyes is with A. A face shield B. A three-quarter helmet C. A windshield D. Eyeglasses 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. The best way to protect your eyes is with a face shield. Choose a helmet with a face shield. Question 29. When riding through an intersection, motorcycles must be especially aware of A. Unexpected light changes. B. Vehicles turning left into your path. C. The position of stop lines. D. Pedestrians crossing the road. 5. 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. While all of the above are important when riding through an intersection, motorcycles must be especially aware of vehicles turning left into their path. Cars often do not see motorcycles approaching. Question 30. In which of these scenarios is it the least important to check your mirrors? A. When stopped at an intersection. B. Before you change lanes. C. When beginning to slow down. D. When descending a large L. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. It is least important to check your mirrors when descending a large L. Question 31. 
What can you do to help keep your balance in turns? A. Keep your knees against the gas tank. B. Pull in the clutch and coast. C. Crouch down low. D. Slow down before the turn. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Help keep your balance in turns by keeping your knees against the gas tank. It helps you and the motorcycle move together. Question 32. Rules of riding in a group include the following. A. Not following too closely. B. Checking your mirrors frequently. C. Maintaining a staggered formation. D. All of the above. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Rules of riding in a group include checking your mirrors frequently, maintaining a staggered formation when possible and not following too closely. Question 33. The best way to lessen your chances of skidding on a slippery surface is to A. Slow down before you get to the slippery surface. B. Ride on the shoulder of the road. C. Drag your feet on the ground. D. Do all of these. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. The best way to lessen your chances of skidding on a slippery surface is to slow down as much as possible before you get to the slippery surface. Question 34. The best eye and face protection is provided by A. A face shield B. Approved sunglasses C. A. Windshield D. Specialized goggles 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. The best eye and face protection is provided by a shatter-resistant face shield. Question 35. Which is the best lane position for being seen by a driver ahead of you? A. The left. B. The middle. C. Any lane position. D. The right. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. The middle of the lane position is the best one to ride in so that other drivers will see you. It makes you the most visible in the rearview mirror of the driver in front of you. Question 36. How can you prevent fatigue while riding? A. All these answers are correct. B. Limit the length of your trip. C. Take frequent breaks. D. Protect yourself from the elements. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Help prevent fatigue while riding by taking frequent breaks, limit the length of your trip, and protect yourself from the elements by wearing proper clothing. Question 37. When scanning road conditions, you should be looking for a. Traffic conditions. B. Escape routes. C. Road conditions. D. All of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. When scanning road conditions, you should be looking for escape routes, traffic conditions, and road conditions that could present a hazard. Question 38. In addition to downshifting when you slow or stop, you should also downshift. A. When you need more power to accelerate. B. When you are descending a hill. C. Whenever you pull in the clutch. D. While riding on a multi-lane road. 5. 
four, three, two, one. Answer A. In addition to downshifting when you slow or stop, you should also downshift when you need more power to accelerate. Question 39. How can you make your brake light more noticeable to others? A. Rod in lighted areas. B. Flash your brake light. C. Use your high beam. D. Avoid tailgating. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. You make your brake light more noticeable to others by flashing your brake light. Question 40. You must use the high beam lights on your motorcycle when you are a vehicle at night. A. Meeting. B. Not following or meeting. C. Following. D. None of these. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. You must use all the lights on your motorcycle when you are not following or meeting a vehicle at night. Use low beam lights when meeting a vehicle. Question 41. When looking where you want to turn, you should. A. Keep your eyes level with the horizon. B. Reduce your speed before the turn. C. Turn your head, not your shoulders, in the direction of the intended turn. D. Do all of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. When looking where you want to turn, turn your head, not your shoulders in the direction of the intended turn. Moving your shoulders or upper body may turn the motorcycle more than you want to. Keep your eyes level with the horizon and reduce your speed before the turn. Question 42. Your motorcycle chain should be checked. A. Once a month. B. At the start of each season. C. Before every ride as part of the TCLOCS inspection. D. Once a week. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. ATCLOCS inspection should be conducted before every ride, and includes these checks T tires and wheels, C controls, L lights and electrics, O oil and other fluids, C chassis, S stands. Question 43. The safest formation when riding in a group is A. The V formation B. Single file C. In pairs D. The staggered formation 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. The best formation when riding in a group is the staggered formation. It allows you to stay close together while maintaining a space cushion. Question 44. If your motorcycle will take longer to stop, you should. A. Decrease your following distance. B. Increase your following distance. C. Change lanes. D. Increase your speed. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. If your motorcycle will take longer to stop, increase your following distance so that you will have more time to stop. Question 45. If the front brake locks, what should you do? A. Release it and apply the rear brake only. B. Release the brake and reapply it smoothly. C. Keep it applied until you come to a complete stop. D. Pull the engine kill switch. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. 
If the front brake locks, you should release it immediately and reapply the brake smoothly. Question 46. To turn your motorcycle, you should press on the hand grip in the direction of the turn end. A lean in the opposite direction of the turn. B pull in the clutch. C keep your body straight. D lean in the direction of the turn. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. To turn your motorcycle, you should press on the hand grip in the direction of the turn and lean in the direction of the turn. Question 47. Wearing a face shield while riding a motorcycle. A is legally required by all riders. B is the best form of face and eye protection. C is not as effective as wearing goggles. D is only required by riders under the age of 18. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. Wearing a face shield on a motorcycle is the best form of face and eye protection because it protects your whole face and will not fly off in the wind. Question 48. Which of the following is an OT true? A. The center of the lean position is safe to ride in. B. You must be in good physical condition to ride a motorcycle. C. Motorcycles do not have blind spots. D. Saddlebags should be filled with evenly distributed weight. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. It is false to say that motorcycles do not have blind spots. Just like cars, motorcycles do have blind spots. Question 49. When riding in a group, beginner riders should be positioned. A. Behind the leader. B. At the end. C. In the front. D. In front of the last rider. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. When riding in a group, Beginner riders should be positioned behind the leader. This allows them to keep up with the group. Question 50. If you are riding in a staggered formation, you should switch to riding in pairs when? A. Motorcycles should never ride in pairs. B. Turning sharp corners. C. Approaching intersections. D. Riding at night. 5. 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Motorcycles should never ride in pairs. A motorcycle requires a full lane width to operate properly. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like and share.